the, uh, the, uh, the event in China, the World Wingsuit League event in China, uh, was massive. We had no idea the size of it. It was almost biblical. It was so big. And um, apart from it being broadcast to uh, like over 100 million people live, uh, we were on the 7 p.m. news in China, which is a huge thing. It has a viewership of over a billion people. It's something that everyone sits down and watches. And uh, I think there's only two countries in the world, India and China, that understand the concept of a billion. The rest of us are still mere mortals working in millions. So it's uh, like everything in China, it's totally epic. We got there uh, like almost a week before the comp, but the weather was bad for the first three days. Uh, we were taken straight up onto the mountain and uh, we kind of got a glimpse of the course in between the clouds and the wind and the rain. Uh, initially, I thought it was a bit of a tracking course, but it landed up to be yeah, really favorable, easy, safe, and still uh, nice and impressive with some good close stuff uh, afterwards. Everyone was just super happy, super motivated. Everyone was supporting everyone else. Um, it's, uh, it's quite a thing to see so many base jumpers get together and just uh, culminate to make things happen. And it was super, super smooth and super well lubricated. So uh, Espen was uh, the man to beat, I do believe. Um, but also James Bull, and then you had Tony, and Tony's also a bit of a black black horse. He just sits quietly, focuses, and uh, he's proved in the other races that he can always just pull a rabbit out the hat as well. So he always had the potential to just go fast, fast, fast. So what the competition did to make things a little more interesting for the viewers and us was after the preliminaries, they reversed the exit order. So the slowest time went first and the fastest time went last. Uh, Espen and I were the last two guys up at the top. I knew what uh, my time was on the first round of the final. And as Espen's time got read out, I knew I'd won already. It was incredible. JT came up to me at the exit point. He was there to do a demo straight after the final. He gave me a big hug. Um, I was informed that I should try and go faster. Um, and I really had to get my shit together and sort my head out and um, get back uh, and charge again. That was my reaction. I was overwhelmed, super happy, and I just wanted to go faster on the last round. Yeah, I was really honored that the mayor of Zhang Zhaizhe uh, presented me the medal himself. Just to put things into perspective, Zhang Zhaizhe is a tiny rural village in China with a population of 1.6 million people. <laughs> I'm off to the anesthetist in about an hour to go and have everything okay, checked out and then on Thursday I'm going to chop my leg open and rip my titanium out. So straight after that I'm going to be six weeks rehab and in three weeks time my wife gives birth to my first child. So I'm pretty psyched about that as well.